Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have another uh, ECM or PCM repair uh, video. This is on a Volvo Penta 5.7. Uh, this is from one of my customers and follower from YouTube. Uh, he's from Canada. His name is Joe. He sent this computer. He has a twin engine uh, computer or boat and uh, one of the ECMs, he was trying to boost charge the uh, battery and the cable of the charger got loose and grounded on the case of the computer. So he sent the ECM to repair. As you see right there, I will put pictures of this uh, while I have an open. Uh, let me move this chair so you guys can see a little better. So what I have on the other microscope right here is another computer that I use as a guinea pig and that I can grab all the signals and everything and like that I can check um, you know what am I missing what I'm not missing all right so let me show you one second on here I'm going to uh, I have a um, simulator and everything for this well, let me go back for this I created my own harness that you can see is connected to the simulator so I'm going to uh, let me bring this down I'm going to try to connect the computer so I'm going to turn the ignition on as you can see and first thing zero amperage uh, make sure that everything is connected yes everything is connected and then if I try to connect to the computer it's a mobile penta I try to go there and it's nothing I can try to run for this I already supply cam and crank signals nothing absolutely nothing happens I want to make sure that everything is being looking there I can probably go back a little bit sorry guys it's going to be a little shaky I'm on the tripod so this is why it's so nice and smooth the movement in here but yeah so there is nothing on this on this computer so it's sometimes very hard to know what you can do or not with a computer so based on or through my experience I have come up with uh, different uh, tests and that's what I Okay, let me move you guys this way because I'm going to be now here so and you guys can see let me put that right there yeah like that you guys will be able to see right here when the computer runs and if I get communication all right so based on talking to him and what he experienced or what you know happened to this I said okay let me check rounds to the ground and the board and definitely is no communication uh, on the back of this ECM is a very big a ground pad so the the problem that happens is when uh, that um, cable from the charger went and touched any place in here it tried to now charge the battery through the case of the computer and those grounds are not made to carry that much amperage and so that's that's exactly what happens all right so is this computer any good or not I mean looking at the computer it looks pristine there's no water the, even the balls that hold it down are so clean All right so I'm going to turn these off and I'm going to go just you know to one of the ground pads on on the board and now I'm going to turn the ignition back on boom I don't know if you guys can see here but we got fuel pump we got the horn that's fine but we got amperage oh that is not good all right one more once again I lost the ground in there for a second I'm going to try to communicate with the computer once again and now I got communication I got I'm losing the connection in here trying to all right so uh, hopefully it com communicates again because I lost the ground again trying to do this and talking at the same time oh, come on Let me just do it again. All right, fuel pump. I can hear the fuel pump in there. Retrieving codes, that's fine, that's good news. And I'm gonna try to run the computer. And as you can see, the computer is running. The IAC is working. I got all the injectors, so I gotta be careful with what I'm doing. But if we got all the injectors, I can change values. The computer is at 990 RPMs. This is a very good sign 
it's going to be a really hard repair. Now, let me turn this off because I don't want to keep holding that like that. And this is just a test. All right, so the computer is, is solvable because for those that have these kind of ECMs, uh, this is uh, very hard or impossible to get your computer back or you cannot buy it from Volvo. So the only way is send it to me and repair. Very few people can say that they know as much as I know or have powers because I got everything pretty much on stock for these computers. So I have, like I said, take my time and do homework. I do reverse engineering on every single line, every single component inside this computer. So I know exactly what I'm talking about and I know where I can do all this or not test this. Um, all the things that I can um, show you, let me actually go over to the file like that because I don't want to run it this again. So I always say this for my uh, records and for his, but you can see that I have saved that's uh, idle values, and then I have the EST, injector, cam and crank signals, computer is working. So this is going to be very good for him, because these are, I mean, what are you going to do? Replace the engine, put, put another type of engine, or try to make a Frankenstein, like I said, you know, and trying to uh, get a different harness, a different computer. It's a, it is very, it's very hard. Plus, you got a twin engine boat. What are you going to do? Just, just get rid of the both of the boats, or it's, so it's, this for him is going to be a very happy uh, news because I haven't even contacted him. I'm just recording the. This is the test. I'm going to reach out to him, tell him how much the repairs are because I'm going to have to completely remove the board from the casing to repair this. But it's possible. I know now that at least I got a good foundation the computer will run the computer is fixable and then just correct whatever is under this connector and on the on the board itself all right so this is again um video for joe in canada and for the rest of my subscribers yes as you guys can see we have very good knowledge in computers and uh yeah you know electronic board repairs so just contact me through mike at mikesalazardiagnostics.com i will put the video uh sorry the the email and my website probably here on the video on the bottom so you guys can reach out if you need any repairs as usual thank you so much for visiting um see you next time bye bye